All right, through 70 years of triumph and tragedy on the high seas, the Sydney to Hobart race has become an iconic part of Australia's summer. At 628 nautical miles long, the course is often described as the most gruelling of its kind. So as we count down to this year's starting horn, we are joined by Commodore John Cameron of the Cruising Yacht Club of Australia and our very own Erin Molan, who's competing as part of this year's crew on board Perpetual Loyal. John, good morning to you. Uh, first to you, the fleet is bracing for its most dangerous conditions since the deadly 1998 race. How bad do you think it is going to get? Jane, we have to look at put this in perspective. In the 98 Hobart race, we had winds in excess of 100 knots. Here we're looking at a forecast which is in the 25 to 35 range group. So it's a long way short of what happened in 98. That doesn't mean that we don't treat the race seriously and the safety of our crews and boats in that race. So we have to give all these things the due consideration which is necessary. I'm sure Erin Mullen is very relieved to be listening to that. What she probably <laughs> also wants to know is when are the crews expected to arrive in Hobart? The uh, situation at the moment is un un determinable because we don't know what conditions they're going to get in that race. So we're looking at the faster boats being two and a half odd days to get there. We'll have to wait and see. All right, the big question, who are you tipping to win? Do you think Wild Oats can take victory for a record ninth time? This morning I polished my crystal ball and it still won't tell me. Oh, come on, you can do better than that. <laughs> Well, I think there's four 100-footers there. Each of those have got a chance. And we can't forget Rambler 88, who's 12% smaller, but a very quick boat. So the conditions are going to tell us in the next 24 hours how that goes. And as we get close to the finish line, we'll have a much better understanding of where that goes. All right, John Cameron, thank you. Now over to Erin. I can see you moving around there, Emo. How are you feeling? How are the nerves this morning? I have butterflies for you. It'll be a bit weird, but... I've got to be honest, but I'm so excited. It is all jokes aside. It's the, the biggest privilege in the world to be able to take part in this race. Now, you've all seen the outside of these super maxi yachts. Let's take a look down below. Come for a little walk with me. We are on Perpetual Loyal, which is Anthony Bell's boat. We're walking past a couple of the guys now are doing some prep. We've got Tom Slingsby, who's the Olympic gold medalist in America's Cup winning sailor. How are you feeling? Uh, a little nervous, but... Uh... It's, once we get out there and the nerves will go away, we'll just get into the race and try to win. OK, fingers crossed. Now, we're going to go down underneath. There's probably a technical term for this, Black. What, what is it? <laughs> underneath the boat? <laughs> what do you call it? The hull? <laughs> we're, in the, we're in the interior. OK, this is where all the safety equipment is kept. Black, can you tell us what's, what's hanging up here and why it's so important? Righto. So we've got the top row, which is we carry 24 pieces of safety gear for 24 sailors. So we've got all of our life jackets and then the life jackets also we have a bum bag every bum bag has a personal e-perb and an ais locator beacon does it have a mini hair straightener as well it's got a little mini <laughs> hair straightener we've got some of the special little things in, and we've got a little tether in here for for uh Aaron, so we can just stay that little bit closer to it <laughs> you're lucky man now if you want to see where we sleep come through here this is the kitchen a very important part and these my friends are the beds, and I use the term very loosely because they're basically shelves. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. This is a shelf where you probably will not be doing a lot of sleeping, but you know what, when the boat's vertical and you're sailing at however many knots, oh, I don't think it really matters. I think I'll be down here in the fetal position hiding for most of it. So, Black, if you need me, I'll just be in here. <laughs> but it, it's very exciting and look, we're, we're really, really pumped for this. We've got one of the best crews sailing and our boat suits the wilder conditions, so hopefully it does get a little bit intense a little bit later on. All right, Erin Mullen, we wish you all the best. Our thoughts are with you. <laughs> you have a few hours left to back out, you know. It's not too late. Are you sure I'm not needed at work? Are you sure? <laughs> Thanks for all the support, guys, as well. You've been amazing. It's all for the Loyal Foundation, which is kids' equipment for Humpty Dumpty, sick kids that we're helping out, almost $2 million raised. So whatever we go through here, nothing compared with what a lot of, you know, sick kids are going through in hospitals. So this is nothing. <laughs> You are doing a great job, Erin, and we look forward to talking to you at the finish line in Hobart uh, whenever you make it there. Good luck. <laughs>